first of all, my name is Willie the Genius. I saw this tweet from the Nap Ministry, and I want, and it just, it kind of started to sum up how I was feeling. Um, it says, I'm past the point of being shocked or hopeless about the state of the U.S. government. I've mentally been living as if we are fucked for at least a decade. There is a freedom here because I've built a deep community of support to sustain my survival. I'm a Maroon. Now, I don't know if you all know about the Maroons. Does anybody out here know about the Maroons? No, I see there's a lot of people who do not. I need you, after you leave here, immediately, I need you to research the Maroons. The Maroons were a community of escaped slaves, right? During slavery, they created their own communities in desolate areas, in the swamps, in the marshes. They were fierce tacticians, strategists, and warriors. The bullseye, the logo for Target, was inspired by how they fought. When you came into their encampment, you were met, nobody was there. Then all of a sudden, those people were surrounded. And then, if they made it outside of that first ring, there was another ring of fierce warriors out there ready to attack. And my thing is, that's what we have to pull on right now. In this moment, it's important for us to pull on. You know, epigenetics tells us things like um, trauma is passed down in our DNA, but so is resilience. We know how to do, we know how to fix this, y'all. We've been here before. We've been here, like, you know, uh, for some of us, some of your ancestors may not have gone this way. And I, I'm talking to my, my non-POC white people. If you're new to this, follow some black women and some black trans women. They know the way. I promise you, you know? <laughs> Another point I want to make is a lot of us are becoming elders. And if not, we should be preparing ourselves to become elders. If your work isn't centered around making space for these kids so that they don't have to stand here and do this in 30 years, then you need to reevaluate some things. I'll give a quick story. Uh, I've been attending the Black, Trans, and Queer Liberation March every Thursday at Stonewall at 4 o'clock. That was just a drop, so y'all can show up too, right? Um, and this, a couple of weeks ago, we were marching up 8th Avenue. And uh, as we were going up 8th, and, uh, 8th Avenue, we were getting ready to make a right onto 42nd. Now, all the way from Christopher Street to 42nd. And as we're making a right, I see this young, beautiful Latinx person doing some beautiful ballet moves. I can't do them, but I'm beautiful ballet moves and boom, all of that, right? And I'm wondering, I, I asked them, I said, why, why won't you go in the middle? Go over there. And they were like, wait, I can go over there? And I was like, yes. Matter of fact, it's necessary for you to get in the center. Get over there. My thing is, as black, black and brown, queer, trans, even hetero folk, cisgender folk who are black, this, we might not ever make it to Broadway. But in that moment, he was there. They were there. You know what I mean? In that moment, we were on Broadway. So take it. And I'm encouraging you, if in the moment, if you see something with someone who's coming up behind you, don't let that moment pass. Get it right there in that moment, because you might not get another chance. And as elders, and as rising elders, it's for us to sometimes say, you got the permission. You can do it. Go. Go. Because I'm fighting for you to go do it. Go play. Go have fun. Dismantle this. You know what I mean? For you. Be exceptional, and I will stand in, I'll be your mama and your father, okay? Because I'm both genders, let's go. You know, I'm just saying, seriously, okay? Y'all don't make me cry, I'm trying not to cry. I'm trying not to cry, okay? And this is the last thing I'm gonna say, um, it's before I get into the point. Another thing I've noticed in, the, in these movements is that a lot of times, um, we don't have to be perfect, right? Like I got up here and I'm telling y'all, I'm a little nervous, I wasn't sure about this, the thing is this, we have to get in the practice of being just as loud with our corrections as we were when we made our mistakes, right? Just as loud. I was at a protest and this one kid started talking about the Willie Lynch theory. Now who has heard about the Willie Lynch theory here? Yeah, a few people? No, y'all haven't, great, because it wasn't real. Willie Lynch never existed. It was a fabricated story. And I pulled this one person, this organizer, to the side and was like, hey, uh, let's be very careful as we're giving this information because we just, we have a lot of work to do, you know? And as someone who's standing up here, I understand I have responsibility to correct myself and to be as accurate. And if I mess up this time, I'm gonna be accurate and come back and tell you, hey, y'all, we was going the wrong way, let's turn around. You know what I mean? 
And the thing, the problem with that, the problem with the Willie Lynch theory is that it makes a god out of this white, this one white man destroy the whole black community. No, that's not how that happened. You know, just like Trump, it was a, a lot of unfortunate incidents that got us here. And so with that, I'm like, you know what, the best thing to do is lead that myself. And so I don't know how many of y'all were here at the last vigil, but I performed this piece from my show entitled Willie Gets Naked. And yes, Willie Gets Naked. Um, and the, the piece is called, um, it, it was inspired by me having gone through an addic addiction and noticed that people always would tell me things about myself. This is who you are. Or well, this is what you are, you know? And what happens when we have the opportunity to define ourselves for ourselves? Now, initially at the end, the thing that I offer up as a way for us to fix this is for us to create corporations within us. Now, as somebody who understands that corporations ain't, ain't what's gonna save us now, and capitalism is not the way, I had to realize, okay, now I need to change this. So as I'm creating this and crafting this, I'm also create, correcting this. And I'm like, I'm gonna do this publicly. So can y'all hear me? Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah. People, can you hear me? Yeah. We need a revolution. The babies heard me, y'all heard that? All right. People, can you hear me? We need a revolution. Losing lives to violence and hard times in institutions. Promise 40 acres as a form of retribution, but now we're getting sanctioned and we're up for execution. We are not the problem. More like the solution. Officer, unhand me. I ain't even do shit. Breaking cycles of iniquity. I can't let this system get to me. Because if justice is blind, yet only we get time, then it says to me, something is broken. See? Land of the free. Home of the brave. Pray to white Jesus and you'll be saved. We all believe mistruths today, but this whole damn system is to blame. Because I am not a project. I am a believer. Speaking through my soul, the ancestors trying to reach you. Melanated people, we got outsiders want to be us. Rulers of the kingdom, a pleasure for you to meet us. I am not the problem. I am the solution. Reaching for my people who fail, just so we don't lose them. So power to the people was the message. Now let's use it. Power to the people was the message. Now let's use it. Dark matter, your black life matters. Your hardship made your character, whether at Harvard or Attica. The slave masters is after you, disguised as corporations, ready to lend some lashes in the form of some taxes. The government, they're controlled by them, so deep in pockets that they look sewn in. Such a fucking conspiracy. How the hell are we supposed to win? But seasons change, and reasons change, and so do people. Our legacy runs deeper than the control of church steeples. My mentor told me, put yourself in a position to win. The only way for us to win, build for ourselves from within. <laughs> because I am not a project, I am a believer. Speaking through my soul, the ancestors trying to reach you. Melanated people, we got outsiders want to be us. Rulers of the kingdom, a pleasure for you to meet us. I am not the problem. I am the solution. Reaching for my people who fail, just so we don't lose them. So power to the people was the message. Now let's use it. Power to the people was the message. Now let's use it. I ask that you align us with a timeline of ease. I want to learn through softness and grace. I want to learn through joy and laughter. I release our desire to learn through pain and devastation. We choose ease. Ashe. Ashe. Thank you. <laughs> 